Fatigue. Do you know what it is? I thought I did, but it turns out I actually didn't. First, before I talk about fatigue, I just want to let everyone know how my rheumatology appointment went. I know I've had a few people message me and ask because I haven't given an update. It was fine. It was great. Nothing has changed for me. My Humira stays the same. Methotrexate stays the same. My rheumatologist actually felt that it wasn't that my meds had stopped working. She thinks that I actually had a flu bug. So that was really, really good news. Everything stays the same. Um, my blood work looked fantastic. I'm still in what she considers remission. As I mentioned, I thought, I thought that I knew what fatigue was. To me, fatigue meant that I didn't have the energy to do anything other than sleep. So when I was asked how my fatigue was every time I went to the doctor, I would say it's great. I never, I, I don't have fatigue. It's fantastic. A couple of weeks ago, it was after I had been to the rheumatologist and had had a busy week. I was absolutely bagged. All I could do was get out of bed and sit on the couch. I felt horrible. I was just, it felt like I was trying to wade through cement. Now this wasn't something new. That's happened before. It happens frequently actually. But I never equated that to being rheumatoid arthritis induced. I never equated it to being induced by chronic pain. I didn't realize that, that was fatigue. I didn't realize that those days when I get up and no matter what amount of coffee <laughs> I drink, I just have no energy. But I didn't connect it with the rheumatoid arthritis. And the reason I didn't connect it to rheumatoid arthritis is because I don't have symptoms anymore or what I consider to be symptoms. When I'm asked how much pain I have, I say none. And then it hit me. I still have pain. I just don't acknowledge it because it's not intense enough and it's not bad enough that I have to take something for it. When I close my eyes and think about my joints, I then realize that my knees ache constantly still. It's a low, grade constant ache. My ankles still ache. My elbows, yeah, they still ache. My wrists, mm-hmm. Yep, they still ache, but it's not intense. It's not the type of aching where you wanna just cut your hands off or cut your legs off or, you know, you'll do anything to get away from the pain. It's a type of pain that I can absolutely ignore, but that doesn't mean that it isn't still having an effect on my body. I began to think of myself as having a battery. Lots of people, most people, without chronic pain, can refuel, refill their battery completely. They sleep, they rest, their battery completely charges. For those of us that have chronic pain, we sleep, we rest. Our battery doesn't fully charge because even when we are sleeping and resting, we still have pain. It's always there, it never goes away. It's always drawing on your battery. Interesting, right? So what can we do to try and prolong our battery? We can pace ourselves rather than doing everything all in one day. You don't have to clean your entire house all in one day. If you don't feel like making your bed, don't make it. My epiphany allowed me to do something and that was to cut myself some slack. To realize that when all I can do is get out of bed, make a coffee, head to the couch, send out a few emails, but mostly just veg. Those days, that's okay. You need to listen to your body. Your body is telling you, whoa, our battery is empty. So my recharging took a few days that time. And normally I would sit on that couch and I would beat myself up and I would think, why are you being so lazy? Stop being lazy. I won't do that anymore. Because now I understand. My battery, it's never fully charged. It's always being drawn upon. That's what rheumatoid arthritis 
and chronic pain do? Your body is always battling. Your body is always at war. Your body is constantly fighting itself. That's exhausting. Do I have answers in this video as to how to get past the fatigue? No, I'm afraid I don't because there is no answer. There's ways of coping, definitely, but you're always going to have the fatigue. That's just part of the disease. God, that sounds horrible. Oh, I hate saying that. I hate saying that. Sorry, guys, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's just how it is. Oh, really, that does. It makes me sick because I don't want to accept that. That no matter what we do, we're always going to have fatigue. It's always going to be there. It's always something we're going to have to deal with. Oh, I hate that, guys. I really hate that. But it's the truth. Yeah, you can pace yourself, definitely. And I would suggest that. Pace yourself. Don't do everything all in one day because if you do that, then you knock yourself on your ass for three, four, five days trying to recover from that one day of good energy. Drink water, of course. We all know that. That helps with energy no matter what. Drinking water helps. Take vitamins. Yep, definitely that helps. I take B12 and that does help. God, I hope this video isn't depressing. I don't want it to be depressing. I just want to share with you what I learned. Even after 40 years with this disease, it's still teaching me. It's, I'm still getting my ass handed to me and I'm still learning. So I really hope that this video today will help you to verbalize to your rheumatologist, to your friends and family, what fatigue feels like, what it is. And you can explain to them that, that your battery is never fully charged. It's just the way it is. Everybody take care, take care of yourselves. And I will see you next Thursday.